California Surgeon General Nadine Burke Harris has declared adverse childhood experiences to be a public health problem and public school crisis in California. She's written a book that clearly articulates why she's done that and what the impact of abuse and trauma have on children and what untreated, abused and neglected children do to the communities they live in. She knows that by not treating these children, they will go on to have difficult lives. They will impact schools, they will impact the criminal justice system, and in general, make things less safe and less happy to live in. The punishment model that has been used in America for decades, if not centuries, is counterproductive. She points that out. By expelling children from daycare, by expelling children from elementary school and high school, we pretty much guarantee that they will go on to lead dysfunctional lives. Our mental health services have not been adequate to this point, and she proves that by a healing model through the ACEs, uh, Adverse Childhood Experience Training for teachers and law enforcement, social workers, and all those that are involved in the lives of abused and neglected children, at-risk children, she proves that they can be healed, that generational child abuse can be interrupted, and I think it's important to point out that 30% of American youth are reported uh, to Child Protection Services by their 18th birthday. Over 30% of American youth are arrested by their 28th birthday. Our prison systems have been full for a long time and five-year recidivism rates are now you know, approaching 80%. So the healing model will be a better model to work with than the punishment model has been. We are steeped as a nation. Our psychs are steeped in the punishment model and to break it is gonna be hard. So California is now a trauma-informed state working to teach the people that work with these children how to use a better model to make them well. Um, there are seven other states that have done this. I'm here today to ask you to join Kids at Risk Action in making the uh, move to make Minnesota a trauma-informed state so the people that need to know how to work with our at-risk children do know and have the tools and the resources to heal these children and interrupt generational child abuse. It's on our website, invisiblechildren.org, so please join me today in so doing. Thank you.